Sensor was scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David. Joining me today, we have Scarecrow, back Good. from the dead. Good morning! We have Stuart. Hello, everyone. We have Amy. Morning, all. And joining us from a galaxy far, far away, we have Mitch. Who's well, like, you? Yeah. <laughs> no, normally, when it comes to weird names, I throw it to Stuart and let him get thrown under the bus. I actually know the name. <laughs> <laughs> did well, I just did. I just did a radio uh, radio uh, thing, and, and they, uh, the guy, the guy that was uh, one of the one of the radio personalities was a reported huge fan of mine, and uh, and then he pronounced it polite and I corrected him, and it was like oh. they had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they will never hear the end of that one. Yep. So, um, you're over here for Oz Comic Con. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. We're Excellent. Here, uh, we were in Sydney last weekend and, and we're here in Brisbane this, this weekend. It's first, first time in Brisbane and um, so far it's, 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 uh, it's a beautiful city. So. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. We do kind of like it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So far. So far it's, it's a beautiful city. It's no, a, it's, it is a beautiful city. It's compared like, to what was it? It was Supernova end of last year or the year before we had the massive oh, hailstones yeah. of Apocalypse. <laughs> We had this giant that, that, wasn't the, that wasn't the end of Supernova. That was during setup. Yeah, yeah. It's another, another, another convention. They put a we hole had, in yeah. the convention center roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Was, we were literally got hit by like, uh, cricket ball size hail. Hail. Oh no! <laughs> so that was fun. That was some damage. So, <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> Beautiful one day. Oh god! Oh god! It burns the next. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! It's soaking wet. Yeah. So <laughs> when you hit by floods. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, crack it open to the. Fan questions that we got on the Facebook page. First one comes in from EJ at Deadliest Fandom, which is a group which is doing versus, it's like fantasy versus. So who would win this fantasy spaceship or that fantasy spaceship? And he says, you come across a Klingon warship and you're commanding the Daedalus. How do you kill it? With real guns. I don't know. That's all, that's all, that's all I can remember. Fire the real guns. He's screaming that a lot. Uh, fire uh, the things. All of the things. Fire Press the buttons. Fire the shoot, shoot, shoot. Danger, danger. Will Robinson. Yeah, no, I just, I just remember sitting on the, sitting on the bridge and, and screaming a lot of... Uh, of uh, Random nonsense. Yeah, fire this, fire that. <laughs> and of course, the, the bridge was made out of plywood. And, you know, if you lean on something, it would fall. <laughs> so... Uh, so I don't think we were going to do much damage to anybody. <laughs> uh, but it was a cool looking ship, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was. Yeah. Definitely one of the top designs I've seen for a human built ship. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was I was very impressed with it. And yeah. it was it was a lot of fun being on the on the bridge and sitting in the command chair and, and getting my Captain Kirk on. You know, <laughs> so the, the moment you walk in you see the bridge for the first time it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it was pretty cool. I say it was plywood, but it was it was really very sturdy, and it yeah. was uh, it was it was cool. It was sturdy until they said, "Oh look, let's set off random explosions everywhere." That seemed safe. <laughs> yeah, there were some times though. There was there was uh, a lot of sparks and, and, and smoke and and, uh, and craziness going on. Yeah. Camera, really? What's wrong with you now? <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be worried that. Um, fire would just like, it, break oh, out. Oh, whatever, it's still a thing. Who knows? It's probably yeah, windy. No, really. I mean, it, it was. It was scary because it was oh, like you would do. It would get pretty, pretty yeah. warm in there with all the all the, the pyro going on. So to work out what's going on with the camera. <laughs> I think anything with the ship would have been pretty warm. But then mm. again, some of the characters would be in interesting, um, then enclosed spaces. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris <Tilt. and> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never. I, uh, Chris and I never really uh, worked together on the show, but. Uh, I had I had Jason, so Jason <laughs> Momoa, which was you know, and, and him on the bridge. He's such a massive man, and it was like he it was he just would you know, take up the whole you know big space. Yeah, so, so, so can you step to the left? I need to see what's not out the window, but yeah. it's actually a green screen. And this is when he had his dress too. So it was like that even better. Yeah. We he had a spins interview. around, whales you in the face. <laughs> we yeah. had a, we had a, a group discussion at a Comic Con a year or two back with Christopher Judge and. 
Some of the things that he and Richard Dean Anderson got up to in a prank war on each other was yeah. we, we interesting, have... especially the extremely high protein. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, they were on to outgas each other from oh, day to day on really? the set. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, we didn't we, do that. We, that was... <laughs> they actually God. they actually left him in a spacesuit for over the lunch break because it was that bad. They just oh he was God. yeah. He so, decorated the spacesuit and they're just like, nope, you're stuck in there and left him hanging on the hangar. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, moving along. Next question comes in from name not recorded. Great skills. I blame Stuart. <laughs> I did nothing. Stuart. I didn't write these down. Stuart. <laughs> Um, if you could be any character from any series and have it as a spin-off as its own series, which one would you choose? Oh, man. From anyone that I've been in? Anyone that you've been in. Any character that you have played in any of the shows. And spin it you, off? You get your own spin-off as that character. Well, it's funny because when, when, the, uh, when we were doing the X-Files and, and uh, the Lone Gunman got their spin-off, I was like, wait a minute, what about Skinner? Why can't he get it? I said, <laughs> I said this to Chris. I go, why can't, what, what about Skinner? And he looked at me, he kind of smiled, he goes, what would it be about? <laughs> and I was like, other than what he's doing on, on the, you know, with Walter and Scully on it. But uh, I, I was, I, and I actually talked to somebody about this recently. Since he's been been in the FBI for a long time, um, I think it would be interesting to take him out of the FBI and uh, and and because he's got obviously got a lot of connections with you know within within government and, and yeah. outside of government. Um, but as far as a, a different character other than one that I've played. Um, man, I don't know. That's that's tough. That's a tough one. Um, I would have liked to have been with a, on Sons of Anarchy. I would have liked to have been a gang member. I would have been. I would like to have been. I'm not a gang member. I'm sorry, a club member. Yeah. Um, uh, I would have been. I would like to have been in a club and, and played one of those characters and been able to ride. No, yeah, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I could see you kicking some ass as a club member. Yep. Yeah. 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 That would have been fun instead of being a. A white supremacist meth dealing pimp. <laughs> that comes it's, with its bonuses. It's a trifecta for you. <laughs> but it's interesting because that character in itself is still, he's one of the few people on Sons of Anarchy that's still alive. And uh, at the end of it, he ended up marrying a Latina. And uh, Kurt is actually, uh, they're, they're, they're spinning, the, spinning the show off the Mayans, uh, the Mayan motorcycle gang, but the Latino gang with uh, Emilio Rivera, uh, the main character. So Nice. Yeah. So I saw Emilio recently, and I go, hey, I'm married to Latina. Darby married to Latina, and he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys got any questions? Because we, we got two. Is that all the questions? <laughs> yeah, we didn't from get, the fans. From the fans, yeah. So. That's my fandom. God, God uh, not it. so much that. It's more the fact that Facebook like, throttles all our posts, and yeah. Yeah, no one's seen them. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's without paying a fortune to yeah. spam. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, you can share this post, but give us four hundred dollars. I was like, we're a fan group. Where are we getting four hundred dollars so we could show another hundred people this post? What the hell? <laughs> you got that. And so, um, speaking of X Files, you've done a lot of stuff in that. I forgot what my question was halfway through. <laughs> Talking about the X Files. Something about the X Files. <laughs> Stuart, do a question. I was going to ask, what was it like coming back and doing X Files? It was awesome. That was you know, it. <laughs> it was. Um, it was. You know, we, we all fell right back into it, and it, it felt natural, and it felt right, and, and it felt good. Yeah, be, being a fan and watching it, it felt natural. It, just, it felt like we went back in time, basically. Yeah, yeah. Does I it, mean, it really did. We, we just we you know David and Jillian were, were right there immediately, and, and uh, I mean I didn't have that much to do. Skinner was not there was didn't too much no. part in it, you know. So uh, and that's that's one of the problems with doing. Uh, did you decide to come back on? Is it, or is it just... Yeah, just ignore yeah. it. <laughs> it stopped working a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's that saying? The camera threw me. Yeah. Um, it does that. It's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's yeah, but it, it was it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Any uh, word on if they continue it? Do you reckon Skinner's going to be back? I don't know. You know, the way it ended, uh, we don't even know if he's still alive or if he was infected with this virus or yeah. if, 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 who knows who's still alive, who's dead. Um, I know that uh, if we come, if we come, I don't know. It's, it, it'll be, it'll be, it's, it's, uh, it's up to the, up to the writers. Powers, powers that be. Yeah. You know, hopefully they'll, they'll, you know, decide to write a little bit for if, yeah. if they come back, it'll probably be for more than six episodes, and that's one of the problems. That's what I was going to say. That's what that was one of the problems with when you only do six episodes. You've got a lot, and you've and you've been gone for thirteen years or fourteen, whatever long yeah. it was. 
um, you have a lot of a lot of catching up to do, and you've got a lot of you've got a lot of story that you've got to jam into a very short period of time. So it's it's hard to always service every you know all the characters. Yeah. Um, but uh, listen, going up to Vancouver during the summer and then shooting is you know, and, and or just being there. Yeah. Even when you're waiting for them to call you and say you're you're in this episode or that episode, you know, and uh, um, is is pretty glorious. So, yeah. Um, one more question on the Stargate topic. Um, what was your who was your would have been your favorite actor of the teams to work with? Well, you're gonna get me in trouble with that question. <laughs> <laughs> I get everyone in trouble. So they're all they're all great. I love working with Tori again since she was such a sweetheart. Yeah. And we had a lot of stuff to do, and, and um, you know, David was was uh, uh, a pain. He would know. He was, <laughs> he was great. He's so funny. Actually, we had a hard time shooting, uh, you know, shooting scenes together because a lot of times. Um, when I was doing my off camera for him, he'd just look at me and just start laughing, you know, and um, and so he had a hard time. He, he wouldn't be able to look at me when he was supposed to be talking to me. He'd have to look over. If I'm over like you, he'd have to like do this, you know, and, and I'd, I'd like kind of move over and, you know, get in his eye line and, and uh, then he'd just start laughing. But he's, he's so funny. Yeah. And, um, and and I, I had a great time working with I had a great time working with all of them. Yeah. Um. That was effectively going to be my next question about Stargate, which was... <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting screwed. Left you are, yeah. My, 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 like, the sort of a, an unintentional running gag of the podcast is that my brain disappears about 10 minutes into the show and just sort of turns to paste. Uh -huh. And I just leave it with them. <laughs> That's why they're here. And then there's also the other points in time where your brain doesn't turn to paste turn to paste and we wind up on such a massive tangent and it's got nothing to do with the post oh, yeah. topic and that's all that's always fun too yeah. You've got which is when we turn to her, which is when we turn to Amy to drag us back on task yeah. <laughs> Amy's, Amy's doing that right now as a matter of fact. okay my question is what what do you think of the As Asgard's the, the little grey aliens from I, th I only had uh, interaction with with the Asgard Little thingy, like one, one little twice. Little yeah. puppet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. I mean, it was like amazing what they did with that thing. Yeah. Um, so I, I and, 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 and to be quite honest, I can't remember a lot of what you know what those scenes were about. But um, yeah. but it was it was really interesting having that. You know, yeah. Well, it was the it. it was the better part of ten years ago now. The the Stargate Atlantis Stargate Atlantis was twenty fourteen. You started in twenty fifteen. Was when. The Daedalus first turned up on the screen? Was it? No. No, it sorry, 2005. My, like I said, brain paste. I was going to say, was it that reason? No. I'm like, I'm, my, my brain is going to paste. <laughs> Don't worry. If, if, anyways. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll finish up with Supernatural. You've done some work with the, the boys on that. Um, what were they like to work with? They're, they're, they're the best. Absolute best? They're the best. You know, it's like they're, they're, they're two guys that uh, at a very young age got uh, so much fame and, and attention and, and, and money and, and you know thrown at them and they have just kept their heads screwed on right and I'm, I'm very proud of them and uh, and they do a, an amazing job they're, they're very talented they're both funny they're both good with the, with the drama they're, they're good with humor they're good with it, you know, every aspect of it and they're both just you know uh, amazing to look at for, for the girls you know <laughs> and uh, um, and they're just they're just sweethearts you know and they do some of the, I mean it's like my they they send videos to my daughter on her birthday, you know. She had surgery, and, and they send videos to her, you know, to wishing her, you know, well and, and to get better, and and, and then supporting her, and, and uh, so I, I adore both of them, and and um, and could, can't say enough. And, and plus, in addition to that, all the amazing causes that they that they yeah. support, they do some they do amazing things. They're phenomenal. All right. Cool, cool. Well, thank you very much. That runs us out for this episode of the Safe Sci-Fi Podcast. Thank you very much for joining us, Mitch. My pleasure. Good talking to y'all. Um, so that's it from us. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Hope you enjoy Bye. See you guys. <laughs>